Hi, my name's Gabe and I'm the unit supervisor of ungulates here at Taronga Zoo, Sydney. I'm very excited to be announcing the birth of a female pygmy hippo calf here at Taronga Zoo, Sydney. The mum's name is Cambiri and this is the second calf that she has had. Cambiri herself was born here um, and they are both doing really well. She is a super mum. She's been very attentive. The first few days, um, she did not leave the calf's side, was very sedate, very quiet, and just looking after its every need. And only in the last sort of couple of days has she started to get a little bit more adventurous and wander off a little bit more while the baby is sleeping, um, but still keeping a close eye on everything that the calf is up to. So our little female pygmy hippo calf is doing really well. It's um, drinking lots of milk from mum. So every sort of three to four hours, it's having a milk feed. And it started to become a little bit more active in our dens, which is fantastic. It's good to see it walking around on wobbly legs. Um, just today for the first time, um, it was splashing around in one of our indoor pools, which was very adorable. The next big milestone for our little calf is to get it in the big pond. So hopefully in the next few days, it'll be out on display and in the big pond. It's important to the region, there's not many in the region, but as a species, pygmy hippos are endangered. There's less than 3,000 left in the wild, which makes them sort of big ambassador species for their cousins back in Africa. Pygmy hippos are found in West Africa and they like to live in the rainforest. So a little bit different to the river hippo, which most people are familiar with. They're sort of the big giant hippos that people see bobbing up and down in the rivers. Whereas the pygmy hippos are smaller, only around about 300 kilos, tiny, <laughs> and are more of a forest dwelling animal. So they live in the forests of West Africa and stick to rivers and streams and things in the forest. So in their natural habitat in West Africa, pygmy hippos ha sort of face a habitat loss threat. So in the jungles of West Africa, there's a big resource over there for timber. And also underneath all the forests is good mining for all of us around the globe, for all lots of our tech things. So it's sad, but our mobile phones and our laptops rely on the minerals that are pulled out of the ground in West Africa, which has sort of a knock-on effect on these species that rely on that very specific habitat for their survival. So it's the only big upshot of this is that it's an easy one for us to change because by recycling our products, like just recycling mobile phones, recycling laptops, we can reduce the pressure on mining, taking those products out of the ground.